Okay, we're going to go ahead and show you how to download WinZip in order to decompress the images on your Mega DVD so you can use those in whatever software program you want to use them in. Uh, we're going to go first up here to WinZip.com and WinZip has a free evaluation version that you can use uh, for free for so many days. Uh, really only need it uh, for now to decompress these files. So we're going to click on download WinZip. On the second page we're going to click on download WinZip now. Then we'll click run. I'm sure you've been here, done this. Uh, I won't uh, bore you with setting through the download process. Just go ahead and download the program and uh, install WinZip to your computer and we'll go from there. Go ahead and X out of this. I've already downloaded WinZip to my desktop. It's right here. Let's go ahead and open that. We're going to Click on Use Evaluation Version. We'll close this. And we'll click up here on the toolbar, click Open. I've already inserted the Mega DVD in the DVD drive of the computer. As you can see, we have all of the CDs, 15 of them, on the Mega DVD. Uh, each one has about 30 full-size files on it. Uh, just click on the one that you want to extract and click open. Then we'll highlight that and up on the toolbar click extract. Now in my documents I've created a new folder called Digital Backdrops. That's where we're at right now. As you can see the folder's empty. Down on the bottom we've got Extract highlighted. Go ahead and click on that. As you can see, the files are being extracted and saved to that folder. Okay, here's the extracted files. We'll double click to open those. files are quite large. Uh, many of the CDs have a thumbs folder. They open up much more quickly uh, so you can quickly choose the image that you want then just hit the back button and double click on that image or it's available then to be used in Green Screen Wizard, Photoshop, Paint Shop Pro, whatever editing program you use for green screen. And so you can use, uh, use this extraction software to extract as many of the CDs from the Mega DVD to your hard drive as you wish. Uh, some people like to go ahead and then burn a CD of each individual uh, CD on the Mega DVD. That's entirely up to you. But personally, I like to just leave them on my desktop so I have fast access to them. Okay, thank you.